Hey guys, Jemmy God here, and this is one of the four things I got at Goodwill over the weekend. Yup, this is the dancing hamster that I used to own and have talked about before, but only briefly in some of my previous dancing hamster reviews, Luigi, one of my very first dancing hamsters. Now, I suppose I should tell a bit of a backstory on my first dancing hamster before we even get started, but... So... You're probably wondering how I first got my lo first Luigi dancing hamster. Well, I, actually, it was a bit of a gift that was given to me from my school back in 2010, 2011, somewhere within that timeline. But anyways, I was in the school cafeteria, and then I saw this sitting on, like, a shelf in the cafeteria. I'm like, oh, I, I know that item. It's a dancing hamster. And then the, the people at the cafeteria are like, really? Like, if you want it, we could give it to you, because, um... It was like, they were thinking, like, they were thinking of giving it to me since I told them I really like singing toys. They were a little, they were a little hesitant at first, but eventually they decided to give it to me because they didn't really want it anymore. So, yeah. And that one did come with its original box, but it did have problems, even on the first day I got it. When it was given to me by my school, that is. So, first and foremost, the button didn't work, so I tried the wire trick. That made it work. But the other problem was that the speaker was blown out. And at the time, I didn't know that those were repairable. So I basically kept it as it was. And, like, I tried fixing it at one point. But I ended up, like, taking it apart to the point where I couldn't put it back together. But because of my sheer lack of intelligence back in 2010-2011, I took it apart to the point where I couldn't put it back together. And eventually got thrown out, and as for the original box on that one, I'm pretty sure that one's pretty much nothing more than a distant memory now. Now, um, fast forward to, like, um, seven years later, I find this at Goodwill, and I can safely say it was really nice to have this guy back in my collection. Especially considering how much of a disappointment my last one was. Like, it didn't even work right, like, the sound didn't work, and the button didn't work. But the mechanism did work, I'll give it that. And it did come with its original box as a bit of a bonus. And, yeah, it did come with its original tag, which I took off the ear. Because, because back then, I didn't really know much about the value of collecting singing toys like this. But now that I'm smarter and wiser about this kind of stuff, I know I should take very good care of these types of items. And if I can, keep their original boxes. Because you never know. Dancing hamsters like Luigi here could go up for as much as $8,000 in the very near future. Who knows? But anyways, I'm really glad to have this in my collection. Now, this was, just like with my dancing Pepe Le Pew, brand new in the box, never removed. So I just cut the zip ties, gave it brand new batteries. Well, they're exactly brand new batteries, but they're batteries that have enough energy to get this guy going. And he works, well, he did kind of work, but when I tested him out, um, he was getting stuck. I was hearing, like, this little grinding noise in his mechanism, and he kept, like, stopping for some reason. So I decided to go in there, like yesterday, see what was up with him. And I noticed that there's this hook that, like, holds the string that connects to the arm mechanism. Like, for the arms here. One of the hooks came off the module, so I just Gorilla Glued it back in place. And now, well, and that was it. And that was all I really need to do. After gluing that hook back into place, the arms work like he should, and he fully works 100%. Despite him not having the, uh, pizza. Yes, he's supposed to have a little plastic pizza in his right hand. But it didn't come with that because, um, that's the original owner's fault, not mine. But anyways, I guess we'll take a look at the box. It says, Dancing Hamster, Luigi. Now you can see this is the first generation because it requires three AAA batteries. Now the second generations require double A's. Keep that in mind. It's a bit of a rule of thumb. And then... Dancing Hamster, Luigi, I Sing and Dance to That's Amore. And then here it shows the lyrics of the song. Requires three AAA batteries included. Jemmy logo. And we'll get to the tag in a minute. But here's what the back of the box says. Ah, lovable Luigi is a hamster after your heart. He figures if he can't please you with his passionate performance of the popular That's Amore, then he'll entice you with the perfect pizza pie. He pledges to win your praise. Wow. That's so many P's in there, you could try saying that three times fast, and you could screw up. Anyway, the other hamsters featured on the back of this one's box are Kung Fu, Buddy Birthday, Grandmaster Blaster, Jailhouse Rick, and Sexy Rex. Visit us at Jemmy.com. 2002 Jemmy Industries Corp. 
and then item number 30959. The other side of the box, Dancing Hamster Luigi, and then that's how much I got it for, $3. Really good steal, really good steal. And I guess we'll take a look at the tag. It's the um, Paper 2002 tag, which is in surprisingly good shape despite its age. Yep, DH 2002, and on the back, it reads, Hamsters need plenty of love. Luigi makes it easy for you. Visit me at www.jemmy.com. And then, there's the item number for this hamster again. 30959. All right. All right, so, Luigi moves his head and arms as he sings his own hamster-fied version of That's Amore. So, without further ado, we'll show him in action. So, here we go. Take him out of the box now. Get a bit of an overview of him. But first, a look inside the box. You can see it actually has very well-drawn pizza on it. Mmm, delicious. All right, get a bit of an overview of Luigi now. As you can see, this one doesn't have a cover on it. And you can see the base isn't really aligned perfectly because, yeah, like I said, I had to go in there to fix that um, hook. I had to reattach it because it was like, it was not being attached very well. Here's the side. Now, is there something about this hamster that seems kind of familiar to you? I mean, if you're an expert Jemmy collector like me, you should be able to figure it out, like, almost immediately. Other side. If not, the correct answer is that it actually seems to be a hamster version of Pizza Joe. Now, if you don't know which item that is, it's the singing chef, not to be confused with the dancing chef from South Park, that sings That's Amore. But minus that last verse at the end that this guy sings. Pretty self-explanatory. There are there are a few videos of it on YouTube. You can just look up Jemmy Pizza Joe and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and play Luigi one more time before we end the video. So here we go again. And there you go, guys. That's the Jimmy Animated Dancing Hamster Luigi for you. Now, am I going to, like, make an artificial pizza myself, like, to put on this guy's hand, like a plastic pizza? Probably, but it doesn't bother me too much that it doesn't have all of its accessories. But it does kind of lower the value of this one, because that's what I've learned. In This is basically Toy Collector Shtick 101. If a toy is missing at least one of its accessories, some of its value will be lost. But it still has the rest of its accessories, so it's still valuable nonetheless. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.